When I say the word biodiversity, what do you think of? Some people might think of a tropical rainforest with birds and trees. Or how about an African savanna with lions and zebras? Maybe you think of a coral reef filled with exotic fish. Whenever we talk about wildlife and conservation, it seems that these are the kinds of ecosystems that most people focus on. But today, I want to talk about a different kind of ecosystem, one that I personally think is really underrated and rarely talked about in the media. You might want to put this on. You guessed it, I'm talking about the Canadian Arctic. The Canadian Arctic ecozones have some incredible species, but due to the really harsh conditions and the remote location, these areas often don't get many visitors or attention in the media. When people think of the Arctic, they often think of really simple ecosystems with only a few species. However, recent research suggests that these ecosystems are far more complicated than we actually think. While many of these Arctic species aren't considered endangered yet, these ecosystems are changing rapidly and the future of these species is unpredictable. Polar bears are a great example of this. Canada actually has the largest population of polar bears of any country in the world. But these amazing animals are currently considered vulnerable by the IUCN and could become endangered soon. With the melting of Arctic ice due to global warming, these polar bears are rapidly losing their natural habitats. In fact, research shows that the global population of polar bears could decrease by as much as 30% in the next 30 years. I think it's about time we change this. These ecosystems need to be closely monitored and kept stable in the face of increasing loss of Arctic habitat. It's about time that we start the conversation about Arctic conservation.